Hello and welcome to another Zwift racing uh, video. This is again stage five of Crit Club. It's on the Glasgow Crit Course circuit and it's the second time I've done this. I did this a couple of days ago. I actually managed to um, get a win on it which is like really amazing. Um, but at the end of that I thought it might be quite good to have another go at this and try something a bit different. Have a go at launching an attack a bit earlier. Um, and there's a YouTuber called Doom Guy. Um, who's like an insanely good rider and he's got these uh, crazy videos with this um, like crazy crazy uh, overlay and like brilliant MIDI music. Um, uh, uh, ama amazing. But anyway, he did a video where he goes from the same spot um, that I want to go from on here. And um, he had a kind of a uh, couple of exchanges of comments on his video. And um, he gave, uh, gave me like some really cool tips that were like definitely really helpful. So like he said, the main one was like, he said to kind of watch out for how big or fast a group is on that final, uh, the final lap at that climb and see if you think you can break away from it and that that was really helpful because like without that i probably would have, would have just got tunnel vision and made a move regardless so that was good to kind of have that as something to think about um so going into this race i had a kind of broad strategy that for the first few laps i'd try to um drive the pace at a couple of a couple of points and try and get people to kind of burn, burn some matches that they might otherwise not not have done um, with with the aim that that would like maybe make it a bit more doable to make the breakaway at the end, um, and I, <laughs> I mean we'll we'll see how that how that pans out. So for the first lap, um, I just do a couple of bits where I'm on the front and um, I push towards the front, and luckily like people seem most of the group seem to respond, and rather than just kind of letting me. Um, kind of slowly uh, open up a gap um, that, that's going nowhere. They, they come with me. So it seems like people are kind of interested in making the pace a, a bit a bit faster. So that was really cool. Um, and then, um, yeah, just throughout throughout the, the first two, three laps, I kind of just keep keep doing that. And, um, and then when we get to the second lap, so I'll just skip ahead to this. And yeah, so when, when on the second lap, when we come to the Clyde kicker, um, I thought I'd put in a bit of a, uh, an effort on this one, going to like some orange numbers, um, partly to help kind of drive it along, but also to see like what that does gap wise, um, what sort of gap that opens up from from the pack for me, and it was it was quite encouraging. Um, you, you you can kind of find find the gap kind of starts to grow, especially like, as you crest the hill, and I think people are kind of maybe easing off. Um, that gap starts to open up, um, so that was really encouraging uh, to see. So we're into the final lap now, and um, I'm starting to get ready for the um, hell I'm about to put myself through. And uh, I've got a ghost power up, and I hadn't, I hadn't, know, I hadn't really kind of given much thought to the power up actually um, going into this race. But I'm now thinking, okay, a ghost is, I suppose it's as good as any to use. It could be quite good fun to try it with that. So um, yeah, the pace looks like it's it's like not not too bad so it seemed like a good enough time to have a go at this um so i kind of say my prayers to doom guy and um and get ready to um get ready for the hurt that's about to come so as we round this corner um i start to go a little bit towards the front and i thought i probably i probably want to be further back when i fire the ghost power up so that it's like not apparent to everyone that i've i've, I've fired it off although in retrospect i probably could have like not worried about that um so here i go so fire off the power up and start to put in the dig and um i'll get up to like 11 watts per kilo 10 and 11 watts per kilo for this so that's kind of pretty cool um and like the other time it seems kind of pretty good i'm quite pleased with like the gap that starts to open up um it's like like one second there already and then it just starts to kind of really um ramp up and already, I think at this point already, I'm feeling like, oh, that's that was quite hard, and I don't know how long I can keep this up. But I'm aware there's a couple of points where I've got to put a dig in. So I've got to put a dig in on this little climb here. So I think I'll kind of go back into, yeah, like kind of slight, just about orange numbers for that bit. And I, I think on this bit, um, this is like the first bit where I start to feel like, oh shit, this is a this is a really bad idea, and uh, I'm really feeling it now. But I've just I'm you know I'm all in so I'm you know, gonna gonna give it a go and I'll keep looking at the the time and there's like six seconds between me and the pack and that seems like that's eh, kind of okay 
Um, it does grow to seven seconds. Um, so we can just see it's a creep to seven on a couple of them there. Um, I'll fire off my arrow boost because I'm, I'm completely cooked at this point and I just want any help I can get. That's probably the wrong time to use it, but I, I, I just needed to do what I had to do. So um, I've got like, I'm, th I'm thinking here, I've got like two bits where I need to kind of really uh, dig in again. So there's this little riser coming up here and um, I, know, I know I need to put in a little bit of a dig on this. I can't remember what I managed, no, nothing kind of crazy. Um, like six, seven watts per kilo is a maximum. Um, and then we've got um, these two corners to go. And now cause the, the gap's starting to come down at five seconds. It's like coming down really quickly. And um, the, this last bit is like, a, like that dolly zoom from Jaws. Um, the finish line just seems to get further and further away as I'm on this straight. And um, in a second, like I'll shake my head, like yeah, I've I've, I've got nothing left. Uh, I can't can't do anything. I like in retrospect, it feels like when I watch this back, I feel like I could have done a bit more. But at the time, yeah, like, no no way, I, I couldn't do any more. Um, and then that gap is like it's just completely being eaten up. And then right on the line, almost on the line, I, I get pipped there. Um, but I do manage to take second. So um, whilst it's not like a complete success, uh, that's not too bad. I'm kind of pretty pleased with that. So a big thanks to Doom Guy. Um, I found his tips really helpful, um, and uh, I found it really good fun to try as well, despite it being like <laughs> completely hurt at that point. Um, it's good fun to try that. I found that kind of interesting. So it's good to kind of mix things up. And and again, the second place, like really amazing to get that to get in like the top ten is really cool. I'm I'm really happy with that. So um, I, I I'm still I'm still new to this. So getting these kind of finishes is absolutely amazing. I'm sure there's going to be um, soon. I'm going to have this kind of rude awakening where I've just been lucky on these races, and I'll, I'll find like I'm up against some really tough riders. Um, but yeah, um, so thanks very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate this. Um, anyone who watches the videos, and I really appreciate like Swifty Swifter um, and um, Cadman Cycling and Doom Guy, especially like the tips that kind of help to give me is is like it's really been useful. So I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, and thanks to everyone, anyone who's been watching these videos and commenting. It's really encouraging. It's really cool. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, thanks for it, and thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you in the next one.